and we welcome you all here today to the, on the beautiful campus of Southwestern Christian University here in Bethany, Oklahoma on Cagle Family Field, home of your SCU Eagles. Today is the SAC Tournament semifinals between the number two seed Southwestern Christian Eagles and the number three seed Science and Arts Drovers. Well, the quarterfinals wrapped up back on Saturday. It was a crazy, crazy day for your SCU Eagles, and it was actually crazy, crazy games for both these squads. USAO coming off a big win over Oklahoma City back on Saturday, winning that game 1-0 over the Stars. Again, very, very close game. And then SCU surviving a major scare by the number seven-seeded Central Christian Tigers winning that game in extra time, 3-2. Uh, so again, very, very close games for both these squads. But now we here we are, SAC Tournament Semifinals. Winner of this game advances to the SAC Tournament Championship. Mo they will face the winner of the Mac U John Brown. They're one versus that one seed versus four seed. Play today at five o'clock in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, on Dill Soccer Field, home of the Mac U Evangels. But here we are, focused for this game, game one of today for the SAC tournament, postseason tournament. We'll give you your starters here real quickly. In between the posts for science and arts, it'll be number one, Lewis Owens. Uh, and, and out in the pitch, it'll be number four, St uh, Stefan Sakovic. Number five, Matija Malnovic. Number six, Chun Schulte. Number eight, Colum Shepard. Number nine, Justin Croak. Number 10, Angelo Linderste. Number 12, Gideon Bossman. Number 14, Devin Charles. Number 15, Danny Suarez. And number 22, JC Paras. And then the and for your starters for SCU, it'll be in between the post, as always, number one, Salvatore De La Valle. And out on the pitch, it'll be number two, Jose Mejia. Number four, Nakoba James. Number five, Matthew Malama. Number seven, Kodai Tanaka. Number nine, TJ Chiororo. Number 10, Cameron Ashby. Number 11, Juan Anselmi. Number 12, Liam Bragg. Number 16, Sanele Undingi. And number 17, Lorenzo Nardini. USAO coming into the semifinal. 11, 4, and 3 on the year. 3, 5, and 2 in SAC conference play. Particularly not a de particularly a decent year for the Drovers. They opened up the season back on August 24th, losing the 20, number 22 ranked Lion College 2-1. to one. Then winning ne their, ne their next three against Bethel College, University of Southwest, and Friends University by a combined score of 12-1 to one against those three squads. Then they played against Tabor College, losing that one 3-1. to one. Then beating and then winning the next two against Sterling College and Lady of the Lake University by a combined score of eight to one. Then they went and got a draw against Houston Victoria back on September 17th, one to one. And then they opened up conference play against Sagu on September 27th, dominating that game seven to one over the Lions. Then in October, in the month of October, beating the Panhandle State Aggies four to two. Then on October 4th, losing to Texas Westland 4-1. Then on October 8th, winning that game against John Brown 3-0. Three, three and then uh, biggest game of the season for the Drovers on October 14th, getting a against the, get the then number one team in America, Mad America Christian University, getting a draw on that game 1-1. One one. Then they proceed to win the next two, beating Whale. Then they end up playing uh, Southwestern Christian on October 22nd, getting a draw here on Kegel Family Field, drawing that game 1-1. Then proceeding to win the final two games of the season, beating Wayland Baptist and Oklahoma City by a combined score of 6-1, 4-1 against Wayland, 2-1 against Oklahoma City. And like we said, November 5th, first round, quarterfinals, beating Oklahoma City 1-0. Uh, now they have SCU here in Bethany. So not a far, not too bad of a trip here from Chickasha, Oklahoma. Just about an hour drive.
and we'll do a season recap for SCU. They started the season on September 1st, beating Lyon, the then ranked Lyon College, number 22 in the country, beating them 4 2, and then losing a 3 0 match to number the seventh ranked team in the nation, Mid America Nazarene, 7 3 0. Then losing to a Texas Wesleyan game that both teams had to be scheduled because S both teams needed uh, over 13 games to qualify for a postseason play. So they both scheduled a non-conference game right there for each other. And Texas Wesleyan ended up taking that one 3-1. to one. But then SCU took off, sitting an unbeaten, making an unbeaten streak to eight, or I believe eight games. Starting off beating Sterling College 7-1. to one. Then opening SAC conference play with a nil-nil draw against Central Christian. And then again playing on October 1st, beating Texas Wesleyan, a revenge game, beating them 1-0 in conference play. Then ending a miraculous draw against John Brown, which saw the which saw SCU ending the game with 10 seconds left by a miraculous last second goal by Jason Hogan. Drawing that one 2-2. Two two. Then beating Sagu on October 8th, 2-0. And then a miraculous game against the number two ranked team in the country, Central Methodist. Again, the Cardiac Kids, as they were dubbed by the Student Athletic Conference, winning that game, tying that game 2-2. Then proceeding to rack off wins against Panhandle, Oklahoma City, and then a draw, of course, against USAO. But then for the, comp for the regular season conference title, Tie, losing, unfortunately, losing the, that one to Mac U three to two, and then they end the season beating Wayland Baptist one nil, and of course surviving a major scare in the quarterfinal round against Central Christian, winning that one three to two in extra time. So here we are, moments away from kickoff in the semifinal round, and we are underway. Currently, SCU wearing their all blues, white letters across the back and front. And USAO wearing their white top, white kits with a green shorts, yellow letters. So again, I'm sorry, Drover fans, but if uh, it's kind of hard to read these numbers on the back of their uniforms, the yellow and the white kind of blend in with each other. So hopefully, I can do, try to do my best with these numbers and their players. So the Drovers currently play a, a ball over the top, looking towards the back line. Maybe for a, looking for a runner, but is unsuccessful. Now the Eagles have it. This is Delavalle. Delavalle sends a weighted ball forward to looking for Nardini, but that unfortunately misses on Nardini and set, goes out the touch line for a throw. Drovers have it far side. Uh, they play a throw forward. Now have it in the Eagles' middle forward. USAO looking for an early goal, but no. Uh, and Dingy's there to kick it away. Clear it away. Drovers may possibly looking for a foul, but no foul committed. The referee said play on. Now a foul will be called. That is on M. Dingy. Referee trying to establish control early in the game. No cards issued. So, a free spot kick for the Drovers early. There's not even a minute half already in the game. Apologize, I can't see this number, who's taking this free kick. Weighted ball sent in the box, no good, cleared away. Ball kick. Tried to go for a shot on goal, but it's blocked by Liam Bragg for SCU. And we will have a foul awarded on... That is on the that is on USAO. That is, I believe, Matthew Malama went down, but he seems to be all right. So a spot kick awarded to SCU. So here's Nakoba James. He sends a weighted ball forward. That's Cameron Ashby. Now Ashby has it far side. Near the touchline. Shielding off a couple Drover players. And that is a foul. 
spot kick awarded to SCU. Some USAO faithful made it out here today. I believe this is the women's soccer team for the USAO Drovers. They won a very tough game last night against Oklahoma City, which saw them going in into extra time in that game and ended up winning that one to advancing to, I believe, their eighth consecutive sack, sack tournament championship. The USAO uh, Lady Drovers are actually a very dominant team. If you have any daughters you want to go check out some very good soccer play, definitely go check those women out. Weighted ball deep into the box, just over the crossbar. Good shot by Cameron Ashby. Tried to go for goal. Definitely got the, the distance on it. Just put a little bit too much height on it. But it's a goal kick for USAO, and they quickly, they just play it short. Drovers have it. Eagles in a high press. The ball will go out the back line, over, actually out the far sideline for a, a Drover throw. They throw a deep ball forward. Mdingy has it for the Eagles. He sends a weighted ball forward into the Drover's third. Drovers take possession of it. So it did rain last night. It was a hard rain, but not for very long, so the pitch may be a little wet, a little slippery. Uh, Mejia tried to send maybe a cross forward into the box, but it was blocked by a Drover midfielder out for an Eagle throw. Here's Chiama. Mejia, deep throw into the box. Looking for Chiroro, but it's way too far over his head. Ball has been cleared away. Mejia with a header. Couple headers trading back and forth. Eagles take possession. Now possession given away to the Drovers. Here's Bosman. Bosman sends a weighted ball over the top, but he put a little bit too much on it. Charles grabbing his hamstring on that run. Hopefully he's all right. You don't want to see any guys go down here late in tournament play. Both teams still in contention for an NAI national tournament berth. But Devin Charles, as he was making the run forward to for that weighted ball, started grabbing his left hamstring. He gives the thumbs up to the referee and says, we're all good. Drovers have possession early. Foul awarded. It's on, I believe that's Matthew Malama. So a spot kick awarded to USAO. So this is what we kind of saw in the first first meetup between these two squads. Uh, USCO was really, they played forward a lot in their first game. A uh, lot of offense by USCO in the first half, but then USCU came out in the second half with a lot of fire. Free kick wall deep into the box and out the back line that will be a USCO corner. This will be, it looks like Justin Crokey will take it for the Drovers. So first corner kick of the game. There are currently four Drover players in the box. Make it five now. You have Danny Suarez here at the far back, back of the box, say near side. Box, you may see him run in a near post. But corner sent in, headed away, cleared away by Sinelli Mdingi. And it looks like we will have stoppage. Uh, Nakoba James went down in that corner kick. I believe him and Sinelli Mdingi got tied up in between each other. And the athletic trainer, Kylie Warren, and assistant has been called out. We'll check on Sanele. So hopefully he's all right. So it looks like we do have two SU players warming up. I believe that is Ezra Moser and Lobin Bonilla. 
And the Drovers are exactly doing the same. They have two players warming up. And the Koba James has hopped up. He's walking off on his own two feet, walking off under his own power. But sadly, the Eagles will have to play a man down for a little bit. Uh, since the Koba James has, was down and the athletic trainer had to be called, he has to step off the pitch for a little bit. But he seems to be all right. He goes right back to the half line, just out of bounds, ready to be called back in by the head referee. And we will have a drop ball played, and play has resumed. Nakoba James has been waved back on, so SCU back to full strength. Weighted ball forward, looking for a drover runner. It uh, looked like to be the uh, left wing, maybe Danny Suarez. But put a little bit too much on it. And the Eagles take back possession. De La Valle plays it down and sends a volley forward. Here's Anselmi with the header. Header's being traded back and forth. Here's Chiroro, but Chiroro's cut off. Good shielding by a Drover, def by a Drover defender. Drovers take possession. They send a the ball forward near at half line. Here's Bossman. Bossman with a... He almost loses possession with a good slide tackle by Jose Mejia. But Drover's still in possession. Weighted ball sent over the top. Here's James. James, oh, not a good header sent by him. But Eagles take it. Here's him dingy. He gives it to Ashby. Ashby gets by two Drover players. He gives it to Tanaka. Tanaka back to Ashby. Ashby to Chiroro. Oh, just a, too hard of a touch. But Eagles take possession. Tanaka tried to go for goal. But he too much height under it, but too much height under it goes over the crossbar for a goal kick. So some good forward play there by SCU. It's a good sight to see. Because last time, like I said, last time these two squads met, the offensive play by SCU was almost non-existent in the first half. Uh, we spent a majority of that first half possession in SCU's uh, part of the field. USAO always on the attack in that game, in that first, specifically in that first half. And then it flip flops in the second. But USAO here, here's Bossman having it near side, running down the line. He tried to go for a cross into the box, but no, that's kicked away by Nakoba James, and that goes out the sideline for a Drover's throw. Bossman will take it. And Dingy giving orders to his back line. Bossman with a deep throw into the box. Headed. Oh, headed away by Umdingi. Charles for USAO had a good header on it. He nearly headed it back into the goal, but Umdingi is there to make the save and head it and clear it away. It'll go out the back line for a USAO corner. Justin Crookie will take it. Possibly looking far post because that's where a majority of the Drovers players are. Ball played back post, but too much, too much on it sailed over. No chance for a goal, and it goes out the back line for a goal kick. Here's De La Valle. He sends it forward. Has Tanaka. But that goes off the head of a Drover player. That's Bo uh, Bossman for an eagle throw. Mejia. Mejia. Make a deep throw forward into the Drover third, but headed away. Drovers now have it, looking to go on a counter. Now they play a weighted ball forward. De La Valle 
comes up near the 22 edge of the 22 yard box. He'll quickly grab it and now he plays it to Mejia. Now here's Umdingi. Charles still grabbing, having some little pain with that left hamstring. But here's Umdingi. Sends a pass forward near the half line, but knocked away and taken away by the Drovers. Here's Bozeman. Now plays it into SDSCU middle third. Penalty. But no penalty kick. It'll be a spot kick. It'll actually be a direct free kick for USAO. So you could possibly see an early goal for the Drovers. No card awarded. That's a probably exactly 25 yards. Excuse me, I'd say I'm probably about 30 yards from the SCU goal, De La Valle trying to direct his line. I cannot see who's taking this free kick. But here come the Drovers. Fall. Ooh, not even close. Maybe he was trying to do a chip and catch De La Valle forward, but put too much height on it, too much power. Sells way over the crossbar. And it looks like we will have some subs. Uh, the Drover, uh, just the one for the Drovers. Excuse me, two for the Drovers. Charles, he'll head off the pitch. Lamine Abdi will come on. Now De La Valle sends a deep pass forward. A couple headers, possession being traded back and forth, but Anselmi has it for SCU. Plays it up to Chiroro. Now Tanaka has it. Looking for the cross, he sends it in, but it is cleared away by USAO. To throw for SCU Mejia. Looking for Tanaka, Chio Roro has it. He loses possession. Drovers take it back. Possession being traded back and forth. Drovers have it. Weighted ball sent forward. No runners were there. De La Valle will just keep it, play it to his feet. Now De La Valle sends the ball forward, has Chiroro. Chiroro with a header, sends it forward into the Drover third. Blocked by Ashby, pass was forward, blocked by Ashby. Now cleared away by USAO. It'll go out the near touch line for a throw. Mejia will take it. Gives it to Anselmi. And a foul has been awarded. A spot kick for SCU. Foul on the Drovers. And Liam Bragg, all the way from Sweden, will take this spot kick. Liam Bragg, six goals on the season. We may just see a cross. I don't think he'll go for goal. But here's Bragg, cross into the box. Headed away, cleared away by the Drovers. And it'll go out the back line for a goal kick, excuse me, for a SCU corner kick. Cameron Ashby will be the one to take it. Hailing from South Africa with his brother Cheslin. Ches? 
Chez Ashby. Can low cross into the box, cleared away by USAO. Couple headers being traded back and forth. Go outside. It'll go out the touch line for a Jover throw. Ooh, good, <laughs> good kick by Matthew Malama. USAO now has it deep in their third. Here's Abdi. Gives it to Bossman. Bossman sends a good through ball. Now it's Abdi. But Malama is there to play some solid defense, and he'll kick it away. Out the touchline for a drover throw. Bossman will take this throw. May see a deep throw into the box. Bossman, deep throw. Near post. Cleared away. But Bossman and Drover still have it. Far near side of the box. Good shielding by Kodai. And Tanaka, before it goes out the back line, he clears it away and out the near touch line here for a Drover throw. Seems like Abdi. Abdi will take the throw. He'll just play it short to Bossman. Now here's Abdi. Now Bossman. Kicked away by Malama. That'll be a Drover throw. Bossman charging up, sends a deep deep throw into the box. Punched away by Delavalle. Delavalle's got to quickly get back up, and he does. But it's also been cleared away. No trouble for SCU there. Weighted ball sent deep. Headed away by Umdingi. Nardini's there to clear it four, more forward. Deep cross in the box. And it's a goal. It's a goal for USAO to open this game. It looked like Mejia and De La Valle had some bad communication between each other. Mejia thought De La Valle was going to come up and grab it. And De La Valle thought Mejia looked like he was going to try to head it away. So unfortunate set of events. USAO takes the lead 1-0 over SCU. That was Lamin Abdi scoring that goal for USAO. Don't count the Eagles out. I've seen crazier things happen this year with SCU. I've seen two last second miracle goals by the Eagles. Drovers have it far side. Ooh, good save by Salvatore Della Valle. 
I believe that's Bossman trying to go for goal. But it goes out the back line of the De La Valle save. For USAO corner. Deep corner, looking near middle of the field. Save, no goal, that's a save. Nearly, nearly a second goal for USAO. But it hit off the post. And almost crossed the line, just barely. If there was VAR in this, if there was VAR in the NAI, that would have definitely been reviewed. But still 1-1, one, one, still 1-0, one USAO. James sends it forward into the middle third, USAO middle third. Possession being traded back and forth between the Eagles and the Drovers. Selmy looking for Tanaka. He has him. Here's Tanaka. Sends across into the box, but intercepted. And Dingy, he now moves it to Nardini. Now here's Malama. Lama, weighted ball forward, looking for Tanaka. Cleared away by the Drovers. SU still in possession. Now Nakoba James will just play it back to Della Valle. Now to Undingi. Undingi has it back now. Looks forward to Liam Bragg. Liam Bragg with a couple solid good touches. Nearly gets by a Drover defender, but the Drover, good tackle by them, take it back. Chiema, now he'll just play it back to De La Valle, all the way back to De La Valle, and De La Valle will play it to him. Good touch by Chiema. Now to Bragg. Bragg with too hard of a touch. He loses possession over it, and the Drovers take it back. Here's Malama, he gives it up to Mejia. Now Tanaka, ooh, too, too, too hard of a touch by Tanaka. Ball goes out the touch line for a Drover throw. Here's Abdi, Abdi towards the middle of the box. It's a goal for USAO. Drovers now lead it 2 0. Over SCU.
Time has resumed. Drovers now lead it 2 0 over SCU. Not how we saw this game going. Justin Crokey scored for USAO, assist by Danny Suarez. Eagles give away the possession. Foul by Liam Bragg. Weighted ball played forward. SU's back line. That'll go out the touch line, far touch line for an eagle throw. being traded back and forth. Another throw. Maybe after giving up two goals, maybe see a little bit more fire by SCU. Throw's been played back into the USAO middle th USAO middle third. Ball's trying to be sent up, but stolen away by Liam Bragg. Wayward pass by Bragg. Drovers take back possession. Drovers have it crossed into the box, but knocked away. Here's Mejia. Sends the ball forward. Looking for Chio Roro. USAO looking for their first ever tournament, looking for their first tournament championship appearance since 2019. Now with a two goal lead, that chance, that step, that championship is, championship game is one step closer. Spot kick has been awarded. to SCU, Bragg will take it. He sends it into the deep into the box. Couple headers being traded back forth. Goal! That's a goal for SCU! And SCU gets a goal right back. So sequence of events. Bragg sends a deep volley into the box. Cleared away, but not cleared well enough by the Drovers. 
Matthew Malama is there, tried to go for goal, knocked down, saved by the USAO keeper. But then Chiororo is there on the rebound to kick it in, and the game's been cut back to one. Like I said early in the game, don't count SCU out. They have played two games where they've scored last second goals. And in some games, they've been down by quite a bit, two goals, and they've come back to land draws. And like I said, I think maybe being down two goals early, just maybe a lot of fire under SCU. But the Drovers, they're just as good and just as crafty. So don't expect to get, don't expect USAO to get this lead up easily. They are a tough and stubborn team. Drovers have it, but it's taken away by SCU. Foul on the USAO. Spot kick awarded to SCU. They'll take it quickly. Chiroro, he'll move it across the field. Mejia and Mejia headed forward, but there were no SCU players around. Drovers take back possession. Now weighted ball forward, and Dingy's there. He'll clear it way high. Possession being traded back and forth. Eagles now have it. Here's Anselmi. He moves it over to Augustine. Tanaka is looking for the ball, but Augustine's there. Gets by Anselmi. Anselmi loses possession. Foul on Anselmi. Spot kick awarded. So a weighted ball was sent back deep into the box, but no trouble for Della Valle. Here's Tanaka. Drovers take possession though. Ball was played forward, back into the Eagle third of their pitch. James sends it to De La Valle and De La Valle sends it forward. But uh, Augustine trying to get a header from the ball, but not a good touch by him. Goes out the touch line for a USAO throw. Now throws played forward. Svakovic send a weighted ball into the box. Had two runners there, but a little bit too much on it. Dallavale was there, able to come up off his line, make the say, make the grab. So now we do have a substitution. Jason Hogan comes onto the pitch. On Selmy, heads off. Drovers have it far side. The ball goes out the touch line. Drovers lose possession. It's an eagle throw.
11 and a half minutes remaining here in the first half. The USAO leads it 2-1 over SCU. Chiama makes a throw into the box, headed by Chiroro and Mdingi and Chiroro again. Clear out, cleared away by USAO. Augustine has it at the half line. Almost loses possession in a dangerous spot. Augustine with the wayward pass, looking for Hogan. Goes out the touchline for a drover throw. Now throw's been played forward. Bad touch by Abdi. Goes out the touchline, eagle throw. Augustine, deep throw to Chiororo. And it looks like a foul on Chiororo. Referee, give him a little bit of a talking to, tell him what he's done wrong. And it's a spot kick for USAO. The goalie, the goalie Owens will take this kick. Deep pass forward, headed by Malama. Chiroro looking to pass to Bragg, but taken away. Here are the Drovers. Pass was blocked. Drovers still in possession, though. Possession being traded back and forth. Maradona kick by James. Eagles take possession. Bragg. Again, possession being awarded, being losing back and forth. Drovers now have it moving, looking, moving into the Eagle third. Good headed by Andingi, and a foul on USAO. It'll be a, and USCU gets it a, a spot kick awarded to him. Nearing nine minutes remaining in the first half. Dingy sends a deep weighted ball forward, looking for Hogan. Chiroro plays it down to himself, but loses possession. Now possession being back to SCU. Possession being traded back and forth. Let's see who ends up with it. It's the Drovers. Now Drovers have it, crosses the midline into the SCU middle third. Ball's now back on half line, now moving back. Back and forth. Drovers have it now into the Eagle third. Through ball played forward. I believe that's Crokey. Crokey sends a ball. Ooh. Justin Crokey almost getting his second goal. Looks like we will have a sub. I believe that is Carlos Farias. Farias coming onto the pitch for Liam Bragg. And looks like Jared Orda coming on for Cameron Ashby. But back to that. Koki almost getting his second goal. I mean, just barely missed the uh, near post. Just barely missing a post. I mean, just barely. Ball's been played for, thrown forward to Carlos. Here's Malama. Now James. Augustine now has it near side crossing the half line. Here's Hogan. Hogan, he'll just give it back to Augustine. Now Carlos. Carlos with a wayward pass. Looking back to Augustine. A couple one-two passes. No good. Out the throw line. Out, out the touch line for a drover throw. Now the Drovers make a throw forward. Drovers have it. They, they are content to play in their, middle, in their half of the middle third. Mejia with a good tackle takes it back, but he tried to look for a pass to Tanaka and it was stolen away. No foul awarded. Ball's been, referee says play on. Mejia looking forward, has Chiroro. 
Chiroro has a couple defenders on him, gets by one, gives it to Orta, and now back to Chiroro. Here's Carlos. Farias, he gets looking for Augustine. Augustine has Tanaka. Tanaka loses possession of it. But SCU still in, still has it though. Here's James. He has it in the SCU middle third. Here's Umdingi. Umdingi now sends a weighted ball forward. Possibly looking for Augustine. But the USAO goalie was there before Augustine was able to get to it. He grabs it. So, so far, some decent attacking play by SCU. Trying to draw the, trying to look for that equalizer. Looks like we will have a couple subs. Uh, one sub by each. Number 16. Boris Vejelic goes off for USAO. And Thomas Brule heads off, heads onto the pitch for SU instead for Kodai Tanaka. Mah Mahalo Blazik will comes on for USAO. Ooh, almost a good weighted ball by Carlos, but cleared away, headed and cleared away by USCO. The Drovers now take back possession. Looking on the counter. Now weighted ball sent way forward. Drovers still take it, have it now. Far middle third. They now have it far, far side, near the touchline, but they just play it back. No rush. Now sent back far touchline. Mejia's there, though, with Orta. Pass forward blocked by Orta, but Drover's still in possession. And that ball will go off the back line. It'll be a Drover corner here late first half. Four minutes. I believe this is Colum Shepard. I believe he's taking this corner. Drovers have a chance to extend the game back to two goals. Shepard sends a short cross, looking near post, but cleared away. Drovers still in possession. Here's Shepard. Cross into the box. It's a goal. USAO extends it back to a two goal lead. Justin Crokey. Second goal of the day. That's a brace. Here's Augustine near side, gives it to Brule. To Malama. Malama loses possession, but SCU still has it. Here's Carlos. Carlos sends a weighted ball forward, has Orta. Orta tried to maybe send a cross into the box, but that ball is blocked. It'll go out for a corner for SCU. Mejia, deep into the box, headed and cleared away, foul on SCU, and time will be stopped. It's Malama that's down.
and trainers have been called out. Definitely how you thought we did not just speechless. Just speechless. Malama gets up. Looks like he's walking under his own power. But athletic trainer Kylie Warren is there with his with assistant. And I expected this game to be a lot closer than what it is. Mejia sends a th throws the ball forward. Possession being traded back and forth. Foul on USAO. Ezra Moser is one to take this spot kick. Volley forward into the box. Drover's cleared away. Goes out the touchline. Eagle throw. Mejia makes the throw to Carlos. Parias. Possession being traded back and forth. Eagles lose possession. Drover's look to go on the counter. Brule sends away the ball forward, looking for Hogan. But ball was cleared away by USAO. Barias is there with the throw, but kicked away. Header by Mdingi. And that's halftime. Speechless. That's all I could say. This is not how I expected the first half to go. Drovers lead at 3-1 over SCU here in, the, here in the semifinals. But we'll go to break. Again, USA leads at 3-1.
We welcome you back to Kegel Family Field here on beautiful campus of Southwestern Christian University in Bethany, Oklahoma. We are moments away from kickoff here in the second half. USAO leads it 3-1 over SCU. Uh, speechless is all about <laughs> I am because that's it was defensively for SCU it was don't want to mince words it was bad defense was all over the place USCO sending weighted balls forward making just great good runs and we were just not able to keep up USCO had six shots five shots on goal their keeper Lewis Owens only had two saves uh, four corners, seven fouls committed again on him. And for SCU, it was five shots, three shots on goal. De La Valle currently has two saves with three goals against. SCU took two corners. And the second half is underway. Hopefully, USAO 45 minutes away from appearing in a SAC tournament championship. For the first time since 2019, SCU looking to complete, make a comeback and looking to go back to back appearances in the SAC Tournament Championship. That ball will go out the touchline for an eagle throw. So again, like you didn't sit here, Drovers looking for their first tournament championship appearance since 2019. And SCU looking to go back to back years for with an appearance. Currently, as of right now, if the score holds, USAO, USAO will be awaiting the winner between Mac U and John Brown at 5 o'clock. The 1 and 4 seed playing in Oklahoma City. Mac U the 1, of course. So, as of currently right now, it'll be if Mac U was to win, the game will be played in Oklahoma City on the campus of Mid-America Christian University. But if John Brown was to somehow pull the miracle, pull a miracle and beat Mac U, the game would be hosted in Chickasha on the campus of USAO. And USAO looking for their uh, first ever first conference title in a, a good I'd say at least five years. Drover still with possession. Volley into the box but was blocked. Eagles lose possession. No, possession again being traded back and forth between each other. Drovers still have it now running down the touch far touchline. And offsides called by the far side judge. SCU free kick. SCU looking to make a comeback. It's possible. But against this USAO squad, it'll be difficult. And offsides again called on USAO. A little bit of a late call. But free kick awarded to SCU. Nicoba James sends a volley forward, looking for Hogan, but off the head of a drover and to go out the back line for an SCU corner. Kodai Tanaka is there to take the corner.
Kodai sends it in. Cross into the box. Headed away. Corner. Again for SCU, but now it's on the near side. Cam Ashby will take this corner. That was a very good cross by Kodai. Now, crossed by Ashby, into the box, headed and cleared away by USAO. Mejia heads it up to Ashby. Possession being traded back and forth. Foul on USAO. That's number 12, Gideon, Boss, uh, Gideon Bossman. It'll be a spot kick for Cam Cameron Ashby. And head referee talking to Bossman. Here's Ashby. Eagles pack the box. Here's Ashby. Cross it to the box. Headed by Hogan. No handball. Five foul by Anselmi. Trying to talk his way. Drovers play it forward quickly. Spot kick awarded to, and looks like the time will be stopped. That's Malama. But a foul on SCU, spot kick awarded for the Drovers. And Kylie Warren, the athletic trainer, will come on for Malama. Malama will be replaced, it looks like, by Liam Bragg. Time has resumed. Cross into the box. Too far to the right. That'll go out the back line for a goal kick. And looks like we will have a substitution for USAO. I believe uh, Gideon Bossman is heading off for the Drovers. I apologize. I can't see who stepped onto the pitch for USAO. And a Delavalle got away with a bad goal kick right there. He's lucky enough the whistle wasn't blown by the referee because, man, when he kicked it, Ashby wasn't even looking. And he kicked it right to two Drover players who were in a very, very dangerous position. Anselmi has it for the Eagles, looking for Kodai, but a wayward pass. No, that goes out the touchline for an Eagle throw. I thought it would be... It looked like it was last touched by Anselmi, but it was blocked. Now it's an eagle throw. USAO faithful cheering on their drovers. Couple headers back and forth. Miss, pa miss kick. Now ball's been cleared way back into the eagle third. Chipped away by Jose Mejia. It's a Jover throw near half line. Ball's thrown deep forward into the Eagle third. It's an Eagle, th it's an eagle throw. Possession being traded back and forth. It's another Eagle throw. Kodai Tanako quickly plays it forward to Hogan. Here's Hogan. Touchline trying to get by a couple of Drover defenders, but loses possession. Now the ball's been cleared upfield. The 
ball goes out the touch line for an eagle throw. Eagles quickly play the throw. It's a Drover's throw. Drover's quickly play it forward now. It's a foul on USAO. Spot kick awarded. Oh, no. Seems like the head referee has changed his, looks like changed the call. He may have mistaken it. Miscommunication between him and his side judge. It's actually a foul on SCU. Spot kick awarded to the Drovers. Now, volley sent way into the box. Headed away by Nakoba James. No foul. Here's Anselmi. Now Tanaka. Tanaka still in possession and is fouled. Time stopped. And it looks like a yellow card has been issued. I do admit it was kind of a hard foul. Maybe some acting, a little bit of acting involved. But Chun Schulte issued the yellow card. Augustine kicked it back to De La Valle. Now it's Augustine. Weighted ball forward. Looking for Bragg. Here's Umdingi. Now Ashby. Umdingi has it. May try to cross it to the far side of the pitch. Here's Bragg with a turn. Fights off a defender, gets by another one. He gives it to Kodai. Kodai, cross into the box, looking for Hogan, but cleared away. Here's Ashby, trying to go for goal, and saved by Owens. Eagles still in possession, though. Here's Chiororo. Tried to give it to Bragg, but it is stolen away. Bragg fighting relentlessly to get the ball back. Now it goes out the touchline for a Drover throw. Ashby just didn't get enough on it to get it by the keeper. And it looks like time has been stopped. Looks like Kodai Tanaka and the head referee are having a little conversation. Couldn't tell what couldn't tell you what it's about. Time has restarted. Volleyball forward. And a foul on SCU. Spot kick awarded to USAO. Right around 35 yards from the SCU goal. Still a lot of time left to play, but SCU's offense has got to get it going. For sure, another USAO will, I believe, will definitely ice this game. I believe this is Colin Shepard. I believe he's taking this. Well, this may be Stefan Sokovic. 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 I believe that's Sokovic. He tried to go for goal, put too much power on it, and too much. He actually definitely had the power for it, but put too much height on it, and it goes way over the crossbar. It's a goal kick. De La Valle sends it forward. Gets it over the head. Here's Tanaka. Kodai gets by a couple defenders. Fighting off another one. And it is a foul. Oh, a little bit of tussle here back and forth. Head referee trying to issue. I believe cards will be issued.
Yes, I do believe so. Cards will definitely be issued. Now it just depends on who. So, excuse me, time has been stopped. 33-15 remaining. Some tussling had went down just around the 22-yard box. It was between Kodai and it was between, it looked like between Kodai Tanaka and an SA. So, yeah, yellow card been issued to two different players. It's Kodai Tanaka issued a yellow card. And I cannot see who this other player, I believe that's number eight, Colum Shepard has been issued a yellow card. I believe it was Shepard trying to, was pulling on the back of his jersey on Kodai Tanaka, trying to keep him from going forward. And then from there, a couple of players ended up on the ground. Tussle ensued. So yes, Colum Shepard for USAO issued a yellow card and a yellow card issued to Kodai Tanaka. Surprised more cards have been more cards were issued. The referee still trying to keep control of this game. Of course, emotions are running hot to semifinals. Time is resumed. Here's Bragg. Tried to go for goal. Here's Augustine. Was pass perfectly looking for Chiuro. Now, pass was blocked by Anselmi, and he goes out the touchline for a drover throw. Bragg tried to catch the drovers off guard. As usually you see if a line's on a free kick, if it's a wall, they'll try to jump. He tried to go for a low across the ground shot, but no, unsuccessful. Chiama. Goes down, but no, he hops back up. Jover's still in possession. Way the ball sent forward. Decent touch, but no, it's stolen away by Umdingi. Umdingi clears it forward to Tanaka. Foul on USAO. Spot kick awarded to SCU. This is Augustine. Augustine now sends a weighted ball forward looking for Hogan. Now ball's been cleared away by USAO. It's a throw for SCU. Now Thomas Brule comes onto the pitch as a substitution for Sanele Umdingi. Here's Augustine, deep throw into the box. There are no SCU players around. Couple headers being traded back and forth. SU takes possession. Mejia sends it forward to Bragg, looking for Hogan. Now here's Ashby. He has Hogan, and it's offsides. So it's a free kick for USAO. Still a 3 1 game. 31 15 remaining. Owen sends a volley forward. Headers being traded back and forth. Drovers with possession. Losing it. Eagles have it. Foul. Spot kick awarded to SCU. James is there. He'll quickly take it. Looking forward to Jason Hogan. But no, it's headed away by USAO. Eagles still in possession with it. Here's Bragg. Bragg sends it forward to Chio Roro, but it's been kicked away by USAO. Eagles still with possession. Here's Ashby. Good, strong tackle by a Drover midfielder. Brule sends a weighted ball forward, has Tanaka. Tanaka with a good touch, plays it down to his feet. Tanaka with a cross, looking for Chio Roro, but Owens is there to make the grab.
Good quality play by Owens there. Owens quickly plays it, sends it deep into the box. And a foul on SCU. It's a spot kick awarded to Yorseo. Could possibly have a sub for USAO. Unfortunately, I cannot tell who it is. Ball sent into the box. Headed away by Brule for SCU. And Selmy clears it away forward. Ball still in play, though. USAO has possession. They'll play it back into their side of the field. Shepard sends a weighted ball forward. Possession being traded back and forth. Here's Brule. Brule loses possession in a dangerous spot. Drovers have it in the box. Cro low cross into it, but blocked and kicked away. Here's Bragg. Bragg fights off a tough contest by two USA defenders. And a foul awarded, and a foul is called. It's a spot kick awarded to SCU. Brule is there. Della Valle will take this spot kick. Deep volley into the box. Has Chiroro. Oh, but played down and cleared away by USAO. And we will have a substitution. That ball goes out the touchline for an eagle throw. Augustine will make it. He gives it to James. James sends a volley forward. Looking for Hogan, but no, kicked away, intercepted by USAO. Drover's still in possession. Strong tackles by Anselmi, but they're unsuccessful. Drover's looking to run far touchline. Goes out of play. Eagles throw. Eagles quickly try to make the throw forward. Kick deep into the Eagle third. Couple headers, couple possessions being traded. Handball by SCU. It'll be a Drover spot kick. Drovers quickly play it. This is Bossman. But Brule is there to make a strong tackle. Ball still in play. Here's Bossman trying to fight off Brule. Brule with a good slide tackle goes out the back line. That's a goal kick. SU's got to get this thing going. 26, just 26 minutes remaining. Down two goals. De La Valle with a bad kick. out the touch line it'll be a drover throw possessions being traded back and forth we'll see who ends up with it it's SCU here's Ashby now Brule Brule says it far side to Tanaka Tanaka is dangerous and fast in open space. Fighting off a tough contest by a Drover midfielder. Tanaka loses possession. Drovers now. 
Look to go on the counter. No penalty, no penalty, says the red referee. Drovers have possession near the midline. Now move it to midfield. Drovers looking to ice again. Go for goal, but blocked by Mejia. Here's Ashby. Now Brule. Brule with a kick forward, looking for Hogan, but cleared way back into the Eagles' third. Drovers kind of in a high press here. Cleared away by Augustine. It's a Drovers throw. Time has been stopped. The head referee will have a conversation between Nakoba James. And it looks like a Drover forward. And it looks like we will have some subs. Coming off the pitch for SCU, it's uh, Jason Hogan. Coming on is Alexander Sines. Alex Sines hailing from Montevideo, Spain. Montevideo, Spa Montevideo Spain. Drover tried to go for goal, but that is blocked by Anselmi. And it looks like we will have a foul on USAO. Spot kick awarded to SCU. Looks like the Eagles will take it fast. There, Brule sends it forward to Chiororo. Drovers with possession, though. Foul on SCU. Kick awarded to USAO. It looks like the head referee was uh, having to talk to the USAO <laughs> bleacher. Flat out bleachers giving them a warning. Sessions being traded back and forth, but SCU takes it. Here's Tanaka. Ball goes off the touchline. It is a drover's throw. Do apologize for not starting the clock. Eagles got to get something going. Got to at least score a goal here within the next five minutes. That's my belief. You got to score a goal here within five minutes because then that leaves you around 16, 17 minutes to try and press forward for that final goal, for that for that equalizer. But they need to score. Need to score here within the next five minutes. If you wait too late, it could be too little too late.
Ashby will take this free kick. He sends it into the box. By Signs. Signs try to go for goal, but Owens is there for the save. Drovers, 21 minutes away from a berth to the SAC championship. Their first conference championship berth since 2019. We will have a sub. I believe this is Robin Bonilla. Bonilla coming on for Ashby, Cameron Ashby. Like I said, five minutes. They need to score before the fifth before we go under fifteen. Brule sends the ball forward. He has signs. Signs looking maybe across into the box. He sends it in, but too far forward for any SU players to make a play on it. Joe is now looking to go on a counterattack. Foul on SCU. Spot kick awarded to the Drovers. Volley sent forward. Bonilla is there with a the header. So is Brule, but Drovers take possession. Here's Bossman, sends it, gives it into the box, kicked away by Nakoba James. Mejia gives it to Benia. Benia kicks it out of the touchline, but no, it's an eagle throw. Mejia will make this throw. Sends it forward to Chiro Rote, gives it a header, looking for signs. But no, cleared way back into the midfield. There's Augustine, good shielding play. But the Eagles lose possession, here goes. Strong tackle by Bonilla, he takes it back for SCU. Here's Chiroro, Chiroro has possession, fighting off a good strong contest by Colum Shepard. Chiroro loses possession though. And a wayward pass by Schulte, goes off the touchline for an SCU throw. Drovers take possession. Like I said, I think it would be good just to be under 15. If you're under 15 minutes, I think it's going to be a lot easier to make a comeback in this game being down one goal. Wayward touch by USAO. It's a throw for SCU. Now ball's played forward. Uh-oh. Wayward touch by a defender. Here's Alex Sines. Sines goes for goal. It's a goal. That's what I'm talking about. That is what SCU needed. Ball thrown forward by Chima, by Jose Mejia. Headed forward by TJ Chiororo, but a wayward touch by a Drover defender, accidentally sends it back near his goalie, but Alex Sines with his speed and everything is able to beat and be able to outrun any Drover player. And he, Lewis Owens was there to make the save, but Owens was not able to deflect it out, but he accidentally deflected it into his own goal. But it is a goal for Alex Sines, and the Eagles now with some life here in the final 17 minutes of this game. Exactly what the Eagles needed. Seventeen oh seven remaining. It's 
3-2, still in favor of the Drovers. Oh, but now the Drovers back on the attack. Some good defensive play by Kyle Augustine. He now clears it way back to the midline. Here's Chiororo. Now Brule. Brule. Now Bonilla. Bonilla with the header. Has Joseph Itia. Oh, a bad touch by Joseph. A wayward touch by him. It goes out the back line. SEU showing some late life here in this game. The cardiac kids could strike again. This is definitely the game to do it. Brule with a strong header, sends it forward, but Eagles still the Eagles now take possession. Good slide tackle. Drovers take it back. Drovers could easily make it a two-goal game again. Good block by Kyle Augustine. Ball, play is still continued on, but it goes out the touchline for an Eagle throw. Foul again on USAO, another spot kick awarded. Eagles quickly play it. Here's signs again. Oh no. Foul on SCU. Spot free kick awarded. I don't, yeah, Alex says, gives him the fist bump, says he didn't mean to. I believe it may have, I don't think Alex kicked him in the face, but I think a deflection off his boot. Hit him in the nose, so not a definitely does not does not feel too good, but play continues. SU with some new life. You could definitely see the energy is there now. Good slide tackle. Drovers take back possession. Foul on one and Selmy. Jovers awarded a spot kick. The energy is there now for SCU. You can clearly see it. They're flying around the pitch. Spot kick here for USAO. I cannot tell who's taking this. But volley sent forward into the box, headed by Mejia. Here's Joseph, here's Joseph Etienne. 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 Gives it to Mejia. Mejia, so looking for, was possibly looking for Brule, but a miscommunication between each other. Here's the Atana. Owens, he'll pick it up. Bossman, fighting off a challenge by Bonilla, and Bonilla takes it back for SCU. Here's Mejia, Brule. Brulee sends it forward, has Bragg. Eagles go looking to go on the counterattack. Bragg gets by a defender. Trying to outrun a player. Sends it across into the box, but cleared away by USAO. Thirteen minutes remaining here in the semifinal. SCU looking for the equalizer. Substitution, Cameron Ashby comes back onto the pitch for Joseph. Here's Augustine. Referee directs him back to where the original spot's been thrown. Here's Malama. I mean, excuse me, that's Augustine with the throw. Header. Referee's pulled. No, no foul. No foul, but it is a corner kick for SCU. Alex Sines. Looks like he will take it. No, that's Liam Bragg. Eagles now packs, pack the box. With seven men. Now it's six. Brule steps out. Bragg, cross into the box. Header, oh no, headed away. 
Eagles still can get still still in possession. Here's Chio Roro. Sends across into the box. Here's James with the wayward touch. No offside was called. Oh, James literally had a 1v1 against the goalie, but a wayward touch. And Owens is there to make the grab. An equalizer was literally a touch away. But Owens sends it forward way deep into the SCU third. And that ball is headed out the touchline for a Drover throw. The near side judge didn't even stick up his flag, so I don't believe an offside would have been called. But it's a Drover's throw. Things are getting very interesting here in the final, here within the final 12 minutes. SCU looking for an equalizer. USCO looking to ice this game. Substitution, Kodai Tanaka coming in for Liam Bragg. Kodai Tanaka, the leading scorer for this SCU squad. He has seven goals on the season. He was selected to the 2022 second team all Sooner Athletic Conference team, along with three other SCU players. Here's Mejia. Mejia loses, almost loses possession in a dangerous position. But now Bonilla has it near side. He gets it to Chio Roro. Chio Roro fighting off a strong contest by a Drover player. Anselmi now gives it to Augustine near midline. Here's Tanaka. Tanaka gets by a defender. Tanaka in open space. Here's Anselmi blocked. Anselmi kicks it in. Ooh, just left of the post. SCU offense, strong on the attack, just unlucky. They keep it up, the goal will come. Owens will take this goal kick. Sends it forward, not such a good kick, but SCU take possession. Tanaka with the wayward touch. Loses possession. It's a Drover throw. Nine and a half minutes remaining. Off out the touchline, it's an eagle throw. Possessions being traded back and forth. Foul on USAO. It's a spot kick awarded to SCU. Augustine sends a volley forward. Foul on USAO. Spot free kick has been awarded to SCU. A chance right here. This could be the chance. Brule will take this free kick. Granted, more chances can be awarded, but this I believe this could be the spot to take it. Tanaka and Brule line up to... This could be the chance for the equalizer. Tanaka or Brule line up to take this kick. We'll see who takes it, who sends it into the box. I believe it may be Tanaka. Brule sends it into the box. Try to go for goal. Looking for James. Ooh, just off his foot to the right of the post. Eight minutes remaining. It's a goal kick for USAO. SU is running out of chances and running out of time. Owens sends it forward. This is Bossman. Bossman loses possession to Augustine. Now Tanaka. Tanaka gets by a midfielder. Slide tackle by a Drover player. Kicks out the touchline. And we will have time stopped. 
and a yellow card has been issued. I believe that's number 14, Devin Charles. For USAO. Yes, that is Charles. Issued a yellow card. That is three yellow cards been issued to USAO in this game. 7-17 remaining. I know the clock on this. Throw deep into the box. Possession being traded back and forth, but cleared away by USAO. Here's Mejia. Mejia, try to looking for Bonilla. Now it is a foul on USAO. Free kick awarded again. No card issue, just a spot kick. Ashby, Cameron Ashby will take it. Again, this may be the few chances that SU can get to get this equalizer. But don't count them out. Don't count the SCU Eagles out, folks. In two games, they have scored twice in the final seconds. You definitely know SCU will keep fighting to the very end. Here's Ashby. Chance for an equalizer. SCU pack, packs the box with seven players. Here's Ashby. He crosses it in. Header, headed away by USAO. Cleared away by Schulte. Augustine heads it back to De La Valle. De La Valle get, moves out of his box. Now sends a deep volley forward. USAO takes possession. USAO looking to go on the counter. Headed by Augustine. Possession being traded back and forth. SCU with it. Now the Drovers take it. No, good strong tackle by Anselmi. Eagles take it. Bonilla loses possession. Here's Paras. Paras. Trying to get by Bonilla. Does. Almost loses it. But here's Bossman. Bossman fought off a strong contest by Signs. It goes out the touchline. It'll be a Drover throw. We are nearing five minutes remaining here in this con here in this semifinal. Three to two, USAO leads it. USAO looking to ice this game. No, it goes out the touchline. It's an eagle throw. Foul. It'll be a spot kick awarded to USAO. Clock's still running. SU running out of time. Shepard can ice this game with a goal. Try to go for goal, but it's blocked by the wall. Maybe try to go for goal again, but that sells way over the crossbar. De La Valle rushes to get the extra ball. We are under four minutes remaining. De La Valle sends a deep volley forward into the Drover middle third. Headed by Anselmi. Mejia heads it back. Possession being traded. Here's Chiororo. Now Ashby. Here's Sines. Sines tries to go for goal, but didn't get enough on it. Owens is there to make the save. It's a tough play to make. Had to make the turn and tried to go for goal before two Drover defenders were there on him. Possession, possession loss for USAO. SCU has it. Here's James. James sends it forward. Has signs, signs, sends a pass up to Ashby. But headed away by USAO.
Yellow card issued to Juan Anselmi. Two forty nine remaining in this game. Five yellow cards issued in total. Time has been restarted. Shepard sends a weighted ball forward. Too much on it. It's a goal kick for SCU. Two thirty-five remaining. Nakoba James. James sends a weighted ball forward. Couple headers. Drovers with possession, far touch line. USCO can easily ice this game in the finals. Two minutes remaining. It's a throw for SCU. Here's Tanaka. Now Augustine. Augustine's still on his feet. Goes out the touchline. It's an SCU throw. No, it's a, it looks like a foul has been awarded. Free kick for SCU. Tanaka. Minute and a half remaining. Sends it forward. Ball's been cleared away. SCU still in possession, though. Here's Tanaka. Tanaka, foul. No foul. No foul. Play on. Here's Chio Roro. T. Roro crossing the box. Ashby blocked. SCU still in possession, though. Minute 10. Here's Bonilla. Here's a throw. We are just nearing a minute. Here's Bonilla. Bonilla with the cross into the box. Headed by Anselmi. Wayward header. Cleared away. 50 seconds. Thrown in, cleared away. 40 seconds. Here's Della Valle. Della Valle sends it forward. Ashby, Ashby. Foul, it's a foul. 30 seconds. Ashby sends it forward. Has Chiororo. Here's James. No, SCU loses possession. Still time, though. Tanaka. Ball's cleared forward, still 10 seconds. De La Valle sends it forward. Has Chiororo, 10 seconds down. Countdown started. Here's Chiororo. Cardiac Kids can strike again. Here's Ashby. Ashby goes for goal. And to the left of the post, and that's it. USAO will advance to the Student Athletic Conference Championship for the first time since 2019. And SCU is eliminated. Their season is not over yet, just folks. SCU has, will most likely make an appearance in the NCCAA National Tournament. But there are any chances of making it to an NAIA National Tournament appearance is over. USAO will now look and look ahead and watch the MACU match tonight at 5 o'clock. MACU will play SCU, excuse me, USAO will play the winner of MACU and John Brown. Tough game, no doubt about it. And we'll end it there, folks. USAO wins it 3-2 to two over SEU here in the semifinal of the SAC tournament. USAO advancing to their first tournament championship since 2019. And SEU sent packing.